Today's Week 2 non-conference matchup has the FCS Idaho Vandals coming into Laramie to take on the Wyoming Cowboys of the Mountain West Conference. The Cowboys are 0-1 after last week's 31-24 loss to the Arizona State Sun Devils. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings after Week 1. The Cowboys currently don't have any players with any significant injuries. The current Top 25 Rankings The season stats so far. Cowboys recruiting board after week one.
And now, our Week 2 non-conference matchup, as the Idaho Vandals come into Laramie to take on the Cowboys. Welcome to Laramie, Wyoming, and one of the highest elevations you will find in all of college football. And it is home to the Wyoming Cowboys, and they have a taste for the spicy brown mustard. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see, the Sharks taking on a team from the Mountain West, the Wyoming Cowboys. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Sharks have been waiting and waiting, and finally the moment is coming and the opening of the season. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The Cowboys' offense will get the first possession of the game. And there he is. When you build a tight end, you'd build one just like this, especially with those reliable mitts, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, he makes big plays in big games. Watch for him on third down in the red zone. He has a chance to leave an impact in this game. Well, it's so nice to have such a big body that when he's covered, he's open, right? Like, it doesn't matter because he's got great hands and that big frame he can really utilize. And he's still running after the move. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Line gets set, first down. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. Fires to the wide out. Working on the right. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Let's not complicate this. My man is better than your man. Find your matchups and go get them. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. He's got an open man. Just gashing this defense, a big gainer to the 40-yard line. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Hand off from the shotgun. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. They go right back to him. Makes the tackle at the 27. It's a pickup of five and enough for the first down. And that's back-to-back -back now. We've seen this running back get it done on their opening drive of the game. That last carry got the first down. So if I'm the offensive coordinator right now, I love the way my O-line's playing, and I love the way this guy's toting the rock. I'm going to give it to him again. The Cowboys have their offense in high gear. They'll throw it on first down. And with the completion out to the sideline, they'll pick up a couple. But well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a room. That completion leaves us with second and medium. They'll leave it with him. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. You've got to be loving what you're seeing from your offense here on the opening drive of this game. They're in a really nice rhythm. They've got real good balance going on right now, and they've got the defense on their heels. And the Cowboys will have it first and ten. Wide receiver shows motion. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. And the defense makes a play, and they get the quarterback down at the 26. All right, offense, it's got to be better. You've done a nice job getting the football to this point in the red zone, but now you can't go backwards. You've got to be able to get rid of the football if it's not there, and that was a terrible play giving up the sack. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. It's complete on the right side. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks.
eighth play on this opening drive coming up, and they need a third down conversion. Run it with the fullback. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. They'll decline that penalty, obviously very happy with results of the play. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. Between the uprights, it's good. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drive. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy with that. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Sharks offense has the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. Leaves it with the back. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Using his legs, it's Ward. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Looking for a productive play on first down. Motion from the offense. They go to the ground. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. second down will they go back to the ground game pulls and throws off the RPO and he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup really good offenses are able to attack short you've got to be able to attack the whole field to make you honor that underneath part then the intermediate part and then you take shots down the field this will loosen up some shots for later in the game Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Gets rid of it. And he just flat missed him. Sometimes you see a guy, he's open, and you try to baby it too much, and it was a bad throw. The Sharks decide to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. 
Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Got three on first down at second and seven. Wants to throw. It's Svoboda. Pocket starts to collapse. Makes his connection. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Here's the handoff. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, stick into the run. Nice job getting the first down. Looking to move it through the air. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. Well, it's been a little bit of a seesaw here the last two plays. Offense gets a chunk play, and then the defense gets a sack. Great job by the defense there, turning the page and coming up with the big one. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. He's looking for an open man on second down. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. And the big fellow really had nowhere to go. You're trying to catch people off guard by throwing it to him. He was a little bit open, but man, that closed fast, and he had nowhere to go. No gain on the play. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. To throw, it's Svoboda. Throws to the tight end. Already find a hole in that secondary. Touchdown, Cowboys! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Well, the quarterback does a great job with his decision-making. He found the matchup he wanted one-on-one. -on -one. His tight end's able to stretch the field. He makes the catch, and he does the rest of the work himself, running it into the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And it hits the left upright. No good. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And the offense takes over to dip into its bag of ball plays. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The play-action fake. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. 
This defense has the ability to get pressure on the QB from the edge. And I don't necessarily mean from defensive ends, but from the outside linebackers. These guys get in their sprinter stances, and they come off the ball. That outside linebacker showed you his speed right there. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Trying to get to it. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. Quarterback gets sacked at his own two-yard line. Give the defense a ton of credit. They were going for the safety, and they almost got it. Great effort up front by the D. And the Sharks will bring the punt team onto the field. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. Oh, what a move! Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. To the ground with the back. They work that running game down to the 34. Let's give him three on the carry. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They started this drive in great field position now, needing to convert on third and two. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. He looks that one in nicely. And he's knocked down, but there's also laundry on the field. We'll see what the officials have called. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Trying to pick up a first down. On third down, going up top. Coming after him. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. Pretty nice as a defense, right? When you can go nickel, put five DBs on the field and not have to blitz anyone, trusting your front four to get the job done on third down, and they do it right there getting the sack. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll call for the fair catch here. And we'll see the offense make its way onto the field here, hoping for a successful drive. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. He's got it. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. They get a nice pickup on this crossing route against the zone, and everybody executed in unison, Jesse. Yeah, and Reese, this offense, they've got a plan in the passing game. They've got some stuff ready for man coverage, and they've got some zone beaters as well. And you just saw one there on the crossing route. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far.
They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Quick handoff. Got the first down. Looking for more. Got a lot of running room. He's at... No one there to stop him. Except the fellow in the striped shirt who threw the penalty flag. This one might be coming back. The penalty wipes out the big play and the touchdown. It is just a punch in the gut for any offense. A first down for the offense. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run right after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the inside. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Wide out in motion. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Got his man. He's got enough for the first down, and he might get a few bonus yards if they call that a face mask. You might get away with grabbing just about anything except the face mask. Got to keep those hands below the face mask. The offense comes back out with a new set of downs after the penalty. Running back searching for a hole. Nice move to stay on his feet. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag on the field. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. The offense lining up for a first down play. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And the tackle was made, but there has been a flag thrown. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Line gets set, first down. From the gun, looking for a man. Makes a connection. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. He needed to do a better job as a defender tackling the catch. On the curl route, he had a chance to break on the ball, get the receiver down, couldn't do it, and as a result, they give up an explosive play. They'll line up for a second down play. Now the play fake. They're trying to get to it. Makes the grab right on the sideline, but he's out of bounds, and they're going to lose yardage. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. They're bringing heat. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. 
Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. The Sharks will send out the punt unit. Here's the punt, and that is a major league pop-up. That thing's going to bring rain. And they'll blow it dead around the 30-yard line. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. That's just an obvious face mask penalty there. No way you're getting away with it. Got to keep your composure there. Three yards, first down for the offense after that penalty. On the run, it's Svoboda. He's right on target. They get him down after he makes the catch. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. The give to the tailback. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. A third down try for the offense. From the gun, wants to pass. He turns that loose down the right side. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Wyoming! And after starting the season 0-1, this offense felt like they just left plays on the field in that first game. But so far today, they're taking advantage. QB's making good decisions. Guys are stepping up. They've limited the mental mistakes. They haven't turned the football over. It's a different-looking offense here in game two. They'll try to add another to their lead. Just got a little casual with it and blew the extra point. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Ohio State is currently ahead in this one, but they're not exactly putting the Buckeye leaves on those helmets just yet. This is a tight one in Columbus. They're up by 11 over Western Michigan. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. First down here for the offense. Here's the snap looking to throw. Using the quick game. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. You hate giving up that play if you're the DB on this one because you're playing man coverage. You're trying to defend a slant route taken the inside away. That's where your leverage is. You'll allow anything to happen to the outside. You're trying to funnel the receiver to the boundary. You just cannot let the receiver beat you to the inside. 
He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to the big tight end. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there. And the Sharks send out the punt unit. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. Wyoming takes over the football, and the Cowboy offense on its way out. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. Couldn't get anything done on first down. Now second and 10 from the 46. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Got it in the middle. It's Kane. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Hey, and quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On the move, it's Svoboda. And he's got it inside the 10. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Wyoming. Yeah, and that's simple, but it's not easy. It's a go route. Like, th th that receiver's streaking straight down the outside of the field, and my job as a quarterback is to put that ball up in the air, keep it away from the safety. He does just that. Receiver comes down with the catch. Nice pitch, nice catch, touchdown. Getting set for the point after. And he knocks this one through, and that's been anything but easy for this kicker. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal from 43 yards out with a touchdown pass. And he's going to try to return this one. That is a decision he will likely regret. He brings it out of the end zone, and he's knocked down at the 10. And the offense takes the field eager to go back to work. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Just a little off. Incomplete. After the misfire, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Zone coverage that time, and the cornerback, a nice job with his eyes. He's watching the quarterback. He sees the ball thrown, so he knows exactly when to break on it. He's able to break it up for an incompletion. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Grabbed over the middle, it's Williams. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to throw and he needs a bunch. They'll run the screen. Fights off a defender. 
They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. The Sharks line up to punt it away. Love the coverage and not giving up an inch defensively. They're third down, smothering the receiver. As soon as he caught the ball, down he went. They've got this offense pinned. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Looking for a productive play on first down. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. The offense couldn't get the snap off in time, and it'll cost them. Offense getting set for first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Pressure coming. And the defense gets to the quarterback. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Looking to throw at Svoboda. Feeling some heat. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. Man, there are defensive players out there that can just take games over, and that's what's happening with this guy right now. He is not cooperating with the offensive game plan. A sack on two consecutive plays, and now on third down, you know he's pinning his ears back again. This is a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. The Cowboys will punt this one away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play just outside the 20. Guys, this offense coming back out onto the field. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, though. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. From the gun, running back gets to give. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. He makes the connection. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Williams. Knocked off his feet. And the Sharks headed quickly to the line. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. It's complete. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. 
Wide open downfield. Stop just inside the 25. We'll mark it at the 24. Pick up of 10 and a first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and 10. Quickly complete. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Well, that's one the DB, I think, would like to have back. Out route, he was in man coverage. If he could have just got out of his break a little bit sooner, he might have had a chance to intercept that one and take it to the house. He's looking to throw it. He's got it on the run. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Leaves it with the running back. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Sharks! A nice job by this offense, putting the scoring drive together. And now, listen, it's not even halftime yet. So keep fighting, um, you know, going to halftime, regroup. We found a little something-something on this drive. See if we can cut into this lead and continue to make this game closer and closer. Lining up for the PAT. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Notre Dame is trailing right now, but they are not out of this. I remember Rocket Ismail wake up the echoes all by himself. Let's see if this group can come back. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Northern Illinois. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Offense set on first down. Used the play fake, now to throw. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. And off to Jones. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The defense calls the timeout, and that's their last one of the half. And the Cowboys will punt it away on fourth down. Wouldn't call it a shank, but I don't think he'll include it on his greatest hits. Just enough time to get one more snap before the half. Looking to go up top on first down. A shot toward the end zone. It's incomplete, and they tried to get one on the board before the break and couldn't quite make the connection. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Gentlemen, who's got a better seat there today in Laramie than you do? And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. 
if this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at the highest elevation in all of college football, War Memorial Stadium. Thanks for that halftime report, Kevin.
The Cowboys will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. And let's see what kind of ball plays this offense has ready. Down two possessions to start this third quarter. They'd love to build some early momentum. You ain't lying, because you only got so many possessions here in the second half. So now you're down. I got to maximize every single one. Put your best plays together. Start this drive off on a good note. Yeah, it starts right here. Obviously, you can't get it all back on this drive, but you can create that momentum. You can create something special and some energy, but it's going to start with this offense here executing at a high level. On second down, they'll take to the air. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. Going to take a shot. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. The Sharks will call on their punt team. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Bringing it back, it's Kane. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south. Get a first down. Get a new set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Finds the tight end. You know, Jesse, I like to joke that the tight end is always open. That's ridiculous how open he was. Yeah, that would have been an understatement on that one. I think the quarterback couldn't believe it himself. He took his steps, was reading coverage, and he thought, Man, I mean, you're just, you're giving us this first down. That was too easy. Now on second down after the short completion. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. Caught. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. I love the type of throw there by the quarterback, throwing to his running back on that angle route. That cannot be a bullet throw. He just puts enough air on it, makes it an easy catch for his running back on the move. Running back makes the grab, and he's able to advance it. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. He's looking to throw. Got it behind the line. It's Brown. And that's good for the completion percentage and bad for the yardage. They lose ground on that one. Let's see what the offense dials up on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. They'll play it safe and try for three. And he's made one already, and this one ought to be cake from 21 yards out. Splits the uprights. Good. And they'll push that lead out a little further.
That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. Coming out with it, it's Bullock. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. And the offense takes the field ready to go back to work. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Encroachment. Defense. The encroachment penalty on the D gives the offense a free five yards. These guys in a much better position after that penalty on the D. Now it's second and seven. The give on the inside. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Let's see what they've got on second down. Off the play fake. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. A strike downfield. He's got enough for the first down, and they might get some extra. It looked like a face mask to me. He was grabbing for anything he could get a hold of and wound up with a fistful of face mask, and it'll cost him 15. The defense in a most benevolent move, giving the offense a new set of downs. Off play action on first down. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. After the misfire, it's second down. They'll give it to the back. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. It is true as he puts three on the board. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Houston endured a hostile crowd and the challenge that always comes with playing away from Clutch City, and the Cougs came away with the win. It wasn't a blowout, but it is still a W. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way, but I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. 
And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, Dave. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Getting to me. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. They recover their own fumble. How in the world did the offense avoid that disaster? Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well, and they're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. He's going for it all. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And the Cowboys will try to pin them back with the punt. Well, tip your hat to the defense getting that incompletion because that hasn't happened often for this guy. Completed over 70% of his throws last week. He's doing it again in this game. Can the defense continue to mix things up, see if they can maybe confuse this QB? And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. So, guys, we'll see this offense again. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. Gets it out quickly. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big gain, but makes life really easy on me on second down. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This defense obviously watched film leading up to this game. Great job in practice because they were ready for that play. They were anticipating jet sweep on third down. And boy, oh boy, they delivered. Oh, that one will leave a mark. No good. Missed opportunity with the field goal, and the deficit is still 15. Wyoming takes over the football, and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Palmer. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So you got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They feed him again. And he's tackled, but there's also a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Offense working from the pistol. Back to pass. It's Svoboda. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Love the physicality of this secondary on defense. That defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. 
looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. The Cowboys will line up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. And the offense heads out onto the field to get the drive start. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Pocket starts to collapse. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Man, this quarterback is going to need an ice bath when this game is over because he is getting whacked. We've seen him go down. He's been sacked time and time again. He just got nailed another time on that last play. He can't wait for this game to be over. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. And the Sharks have it with a first and ten. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting first possession. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. You see, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between defensively. They've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off of blocks and rounding to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game this far. You've got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. Then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But great job. Oh, picked off. He would have loved to make the big return there, but he still gives his team the ball at the 37. Man, that is picture-perfect cover zero. When I play cover zero, I'm bringing pressure, and that ball's going to come out. Look at the defense. Ready for that ball to come out of quarterback's hand. Nice job breaking on the football and going and making the interception. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. Offense threatening at the 45-yard line on first and 10. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Line gets set, first down. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. Fires to the big fella. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. On second down, he'll let it fly. Trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. All right, I know we're winning, and that's great. But at some point, we got to stop getting our quarterback killed. Like, we got to protect the most important player on the field. Please?
down play to get the quarter started. Power football with the run. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. And the Cowboys decide to punt it away. Offensive coordinators don't really have play sheets for third and 75. Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but when you put yourself in a bad situation, backed up like this, you know, with mistakes and, and negative plays, not many plays in the playbook you can call. And the ball will bounce at the four and find its way into the end zone for a touchback. They'll snap it from the 20 for the opening play of this drive. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. A huge pickup on the play before he goes out of bounds, but the question is, will it stand? There is a penalty marker on the field. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Here comes the offense on first down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll go to the ground. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. you got to give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. Don't tell that to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? Looking for a block, it's King. Return's going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Now they've moved it just inside the 40. First and 10 from the 39. They'll try the run. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. And the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Wide receiver shows motion. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Nothing to do with the football, and he just throws it away. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He's got his man. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. The Cowboys are marching down the field.
the gift to the back. Got enough space. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. And the route is on. And this offense looking more and more like themselves. This is what we're accustomed to seeing. Last week, more of a blip, right? 0-1 to start the season. Kind of had some bad vibes, some bad mojo. Bounced right back, putting up a ton of points. And this one is all but over. 1-1 one one is here for this team. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Navy is trailing right now, but I'm not ready to say this team is out. Not after the way this group has rallied around that coach. It really has been something to watch. It's a close one right now. They're trailing by one to Temple. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's going to pass. Unloads to the right. Pulls it in. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passion, you're pinning your ears back trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want them. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last drive. So on this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. It sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. From the 30-yard line on first down. They'll give it to him again. Not much room. A pickup of two down to the 28. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional. Put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Give to the running back. Tough run in this part of the field. He's got four down to the 23. I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table. Everything's available. High success rate. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. Scanning the field. It's Svoboda. Makes the grab. Touchdown, Wyoming! And the stomping has commenced. And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win, but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23.
The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And now this offense will take the field again. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you've got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. After the short completion, let's see if they go back to the air. On second down, wants to throw. He's got his man. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Yeah, this is simple pitch and catch. Quarterback and wide receiver have done this four million times in the offseason. He catches, waits for him to take a couple steps, boom, fires it right on his chest. They can complete this probably with their eyes closed. They've ran this route so many times together. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Quickly to the tight end. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. So the officials spy that face mask penalty, and the offense gets a first down. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. To the air on first down. Got his man. Makes the catch and knock down. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. They keep attacking through the air. Fires to the big fella. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first downs. you got to... And it's picked off for the third time today. Bringing it back. The 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. Dude, this, you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Now this offense is back on the field. They'll crank up this drive with a pass. Gets it out fast. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Got his man downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Find my guys quickly. 
know my matchups, get them the football, let them do the rest. So many playmakers now in football. I'm trying to get it to him as fast as possible so he can do that right after the... Another interception. That's his fourth of the day. Just a small return, but a big play as they have it now at the 45. This is a beautiful situation for the defense. When you're up by two-plus scores and you're in this situation, you know exactly what is coming. It's going to be a pass. They have to because the clock is their enemy. Great job playing pass, forcing the interception, almost putting the nail in the coffin. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give to the back. Got the first down and more. And he'll be tackled, but there is a flag on the field. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Line getting set on second down. Trying play action. Coming after. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. They'll decline the penalty here, and the result of the play stands. The offense set for a first down play. He wants to throw. Got his man quickly. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And with that pass right there, over 300 yards. That's a good day at the office. Being able to execute, doing a good job seeing what's coming, anticipating, taking some shots today. But it's... And he's got it! Touchdown, Sharks! Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling. You're down by a 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. Ready to try the point after. Splits those uprights right in half. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. TCU is currently trailing, but if this young star leads a comeback today, he could join former Heisman winner Davey O'Brien among the legends to wear that uniform. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to the Coyotes. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. That last fumble proved to be costly as they cashed it in for a touchdown. Yeah, and so this defense now is juiced. They're excited and ready to go. So this offense, David, they've got to get something going. Yeah, those turnovers can be contagious, man. It gets you excited, and then when your offense takes it down the field and does something with it, this offense better be ready to play against a motivated defense. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The give and tick, 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 tick. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. This is where you make the money on the drives. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. 
And off to Jones. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? And the Cowboys will bring the punt team onto the field. They'll look to pin him deep. I wouldn't quite call it a shank, but that's not exactly going to go on the resume reel. Here comes the offense onto the field again. Looking for a productive play on first down. Motion from the offense. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Quickly complete. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. And the short completion brings up second down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Complete to the left. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Oh, man, did he turn that one loose and fired it into the teeth of the zone. And you know as a quarterback, Reese, when you're throwing it to the perimeter of the field on these curl routes, you've got to have some heat. You've got to have arm talent to get that ball out quickly into the hands of your receiver before all those defenders can get to it. Man, this QB's got a kick. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. They're going to throw it again. Snagged in the middle. It's Manning. He make the stop at the 33, but 10 yards on that play and a first down. The Sharks come to the line with a new set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football game. Today. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. And it's caught for a touchdown. They're going to play this one through to the end, but this is pretty much window dressing. Yeah, and this offense needs a spark, man. Down big. This is, Listen, it's game one. It's not the end of the world, but we got a deficit. Got to put some drives together. Nice drive here. Now the defense needs to do their part because they got to put this thing in turbo. On to attempt the try. Smashes it through for the PAT. So that's a 60-yard touchdown drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. At this point, a comeback would take one of the biggest miracles in the history of the sport, but they'll line up for the onside kick. Looks as if the hands team will be able to recover the ball. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today too, Dave. They had a really good game plan coming into this one and they went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. They'll leave it with him. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. 
And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they've built this lead. They've had a great day today. We sensed a great deal of confidence, almost a smugness from this coaching staff. And these guys on the field, it's as if they knew they were going to win. Yeah, playing with a bit of a chip on their shoulder. And I think they really felt like they had a real good game plan offensively and defensively coming into this one, David. There were some matchups on the field they thought they could exploit. We saw that happen here. No doubt. Good job by this coaching staff understanding who's out there to make plays, feeding them the football, offense, defense, special teams, all working together to get the W. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys suffered no new significant injuries in today's game. Next week's Week 3 non-conference matchup has the rival BYU Cougars coming in the Laramie to take on the Cowboys.